getting a job in Kenya is very hard, and it has been so far for many decades. But a new problem has arisen, which is adding to the pain of job searching in a country where the un unemployment rate is more than 39%. Tonight, Timothy Otieno paints for us a picture of just how expensive it can be to look for a job, leave alone hassles of actually finding one. The Kenyan labor market is one that is characterized by inadequate employment opportunities against a large and growing population of unemployed people, especially the youth. And now employers are more profound in the documentation one has to present before hiring their staff. In 2018, a degree certificate or diploma may not be enough to land you a job. More and more employers are asking for additional documentation in form of clearance certificates before one can even be considered for a job interview. Top on the priority list for employers is the certificate of good conduct. One may also be required to present a certificate from the Credit Reference Bureau, a clearance form from the Higher Education Loans Board, one from Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, as well as a KRA PIN. The problem is job seekers have to part with extra cash in order to obtain such certificates. 24-year-old Gideon Koech is heading to a Huduma Center to kickstart the process of searching for a job in Kenya. The business and information technology graduate completed school in December last year and has already spent at least 5,000 shillings sourcing for the various documents. It is very costly. It's a costly affair because of all these things. Today, he has just applied for the Certificate of Good Conduct, which nowadays is a must for employers before you make the shortlist of any interview. <laughs> for a young man still living with his parents with no meaningful source of income, he's had to pay 1,050 shillings for the document. I'm depending on my parents, which is, whom they have assisted me a lot. And not that they have money, uh, they are struggling also, doing all those kibarua uh, to get to raise that money that they sent to me from home. Human resource consultant Pamina Swainaina says employers cannot be faulted for asking for such documents. Scams have been unearthed where someone got a job without the right papers. So for employers, they are saying this is the only way to indicate that so and so is qualified, that so and so went this is through this institution. So get us these papers. And the debate may now be shifting more towards the reason for the hefty prices graduates have to pay for the documents as opposed to having them in the first place. A certificate of good conduct will cost you at least 1,000 shillings. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission clearance form is about 500 shillings. Clearance from the Credit Reference Bureau is nothing less than 1,500 shillings, with the Higher Education Loans Board clearance form attracting a 1,000 shillings levy, whether one applied for the loan or not while in school. <laughs> The certification are necessary. Maybe what we should ask, should they be charged a thousand shillings? Is it in order for each, each of those certificates to be charged a thousand shillings? In my opinion, that's a, that's a bit high. Wale watu ambao ni civil servants wanafanya kazi saa hii around 90% wakati walikuwa wanaajiriwa serikalini hawakuhitajika kuwa na hizi documents. Kwa hivyo it's one way of barring the youth from getting jobs. But despite the huge sums of money required from unemployed people some, like Gideon Koech, remain optimistic that perhaps the levies may be lowered to allow fresh graduates compete based on their merit and not because of supporting documents. Every year, it is estimated that at least 500,000 people enter the Kenyan job market after graduating from universities and various tertiary institutions. 
But with the extra burden of having to source for some of these certificates, it appears the job of finding a job may be more expensive than many would have hoped for. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.